h e l l o Stay a while and listen. Listen to the tale of your care. And he will tell you about the day when he first laid eyes on Alduin, the eater of the world. We had just returned from Bleak Fowl Sparrow, victorious, but I still felt myself empty, for I found myself at a loss. There were no more. Easy news of shopkeepers asking for adventurers to recover their dragon claws, and no news of such objects in the black market of information. No, Kajit was at a loss. In fact, the only place that Even speaks of dragons is Helgen. Apparently, the town was attacked by a dragon lately. <laughs> Such fanciful tales. I'm hungry. Joker is not the most learned, but he knows new, that. Like a vegetable or something buried under an avalanche. Uh, very intriguing, Mr. Gore. Anyway, what's this? Bandits, eh? Let's see you fight each other. <laughs> ah, speed them on their way to Southern Guard, Mr. Gore. Ah. Ah, well. Hey! Ha! Ah. Ah. Oh, missed! Ah. 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 Die, you filthy orc! Ah. Ah. ah, that felt good. Joker needed to vent his frustration. Yes, as he was saying. The only news of dragons or their claws was this attack, supposedly in Helgen. But the rumors of of a real attack. But that cannot be true, for dragons have been extinct for centuries. The Akaviri hunted them to extinction. Well, that is what everybody knows. Uh, there needs to be something amiss for someone to keep human bones in their bedside. Uh, well, I cannot fault them for their fire. Yes, Joker has not known dragons to exist anymore, but there is no one else, no place else to go, to follow the path that has suddenly turned cold. We will go to this Helgen and see, perhaps. Perhaps there is a dragon's claw to be found somewhere. And perhaps I can find out more about this word of power which I acquired in Bleak Falls Barrow. It is still marked in my mind. I do not know why. It is a language that I have never seen. Yet I understand it. Very odd. It is almost like a spell. Ah, spell. Perhaps... Could it be one of the tomb? 
The power of the ancient lords, Arvel the Swift said. The power could be the thumb. Perhaps that is what the old seer was referring to. Not the claws themselves, but the trail of the claws. The words of power. It is all becoming clearer to Joker. Perhaps he is here in Skyrim not to literally hunt for these dragon claws, these ornaments, but to find these worlds of power. Yet Joker knows that there are few these days who know the Thum. He has heard in news and whispers that Ulfric Stormcloak, the leader of this rebellion brewing in Skyrim, used the Thum to assassinate the king. Perhaps Joker should pay this Ulfric Stormcloak a visit. If he only knew where to visit. Ah. Joker has no wish to involve himself in this civil war. Much like Adre Khajiit. It is better to enrich oneself and to pass between the raindrops and the thunderbolts of any such storm. <laughs> As goes the saying. Uh, these crossroads are ripe for ambush. What are we it's always to more today? prudent. Bandits, forsworn, imperial, storm cloaks. So many choices. So hard to choose. As as Khajiit was saying, it is always more prudent to be silent and stealthy. Ah, Mr. Gore. Ah, well. If there be any threat, then Mr. Gore will cut it in half. <laughs> ah. Oh. That must be hell again. What is this smell? Jokir is smelling the rank odors of burning flesh and dead bodies. Not all is right in this place. It reeks of death. Ah! By the twin moons. Dragon. A dragon from the abyss itself, it seems. Jokir can hardly believe his eyes, but... Perhaps there may be someone still alive here... ...who can tell us more about this beast. Come, Mr. Gore. Eh, you. Joker must be going mad. Or is it this place? It is already haunted. By the boots. Does... Does anyone else know of this? This place is dead. Everyone here is dead. That dragon destroyed it all. Well, what's this?
odd that a journal could survive where a body does not. Twelfth of last seed, 4201. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity yet so much destruction through the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is ending soon and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered. 4201, 14th of last seed. I've received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seem quiet for now. Probably for... The first time since High King Torig was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night. So long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. Fifteenth of last seed. So much for being discreet. I crossed a border near a small village called Helgen made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Fortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area is filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they are searching for someone, someone very important. If I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush. This could be the very thing that I am seeking here in Skyrim. But crossing the border in the dead of night without passing to the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad plan. Sixteenth of last seed. I woke early this morning with an imperial sword pressed to my neck. A patrol found me camped under a rock outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they're taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart, being pulled by an even more rickety looking old nag. At least they let me keep my journal for now. 17th of last seed. Shar's bones, if only I had known sooner. The ambush, the captives in the cart, Stormcloak rebels, led by none other than Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd not even be here to write this down. Yes, a dragon. Big, black, as large as the tower of the keep itself. It swooped down from nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Tullius didn't take my head today or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels. But that doesn't matter now. Hadvar and Lilof had set aside their differences long enough to help me and a few others escape alive. Only the three of us made it this far. They've gone back to the keep to help the other survivors while I've been asked to get warned into Riverwood as fast as possible. I still can't believe it, a dragon, straight out of legends. Nobody back home will ever believe me. Oh. Well, uh... Jokir believes you, my friend. All right. We've searched throughout the entire area and this is the cave that the journal was speaking about. <sighs> Perhaps this Raylof and Hadvar are still here somewhere. Jokir needs to get more information from them. Uh, you can smell Nords here. Someone still may be alive.
this place. Reeks of death. Jokir would rather not be here. Uh, oh. Hello. Who are you? Uh, hello, my friend. Oh, you're alive. Eh, uh, speak up. I came to see what was going on. Are you alright? Uh, um, can you please speak more clearly? You're not making sense. Uh, hmm. Perhaps he needs some healing. He does not seem to be in a very good way. Uh, here, take this healing potion. What? I'm pretty sure the dragon has already left. But I think we should leave. Let's go, Mr. Gore. I think we've uh, overstayed our welcome. <sighs> Wait up, Nord. Damn, he can run. Should have given a smaller potion. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see well. if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. Ah. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it with well, no help today. At least you know... Uh, who's this? Huh. Yeah. Oh, I'm reminded of the puppet. Uh, ah. Don't need to have another sword arm for now. It's better that if we go together, my friend. Well, he seems to be quite a strapping fellow. Just a moment ago, he was at that store. Listen, we should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. Can oh, really? really? Use someone like you. Yes, Kajit would. If the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is yes, the only Yes, would make a fine fit for the Legion. <laughs> right. So, do you know anything about this dragon, my friend? Ah. Now I am even trying. He's probably as dead dumb as a doorknob. <laughs> Come on. We actually know the way to Riverwood, my friend. You see that ruin up there? Oh. Ah, oh, we are quite familiar with Bleak Falls Barrow, trust me. <laughs> and, uh... I don't think you have to worry about any drogger coming from there. <laughs> ah, well. Anyway, yes. It's time we told someone about this dragon business. Hello. Whatever you need. Why you smear if it's simple and strong? I can uh, help. Hadvar said you could help me us out. We found him in Helgen. Hadvar? Ah, How yes. You know? uh, we promised that you could help. I'd be glad to help a friend of Hadvar. 
But you didn't answer my question. How do you know? Ah. A dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. Hadvar and I escaped it together. What? A dragon? Yes. And Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought. Oh, it was, it was a dragon. Hadvar will tell you the same thing. He was there after all. Anyway. You're right. I saw it. Didn't want to believe yeah. my own eyes is on. A dragon here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves yeah. company, they say. The Yarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll hmm. leave the dead. Anyway... Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need. Ah, reason. right there. Uh, ah! Yes, we can use that. Uh, the food will be nice. And the lock picking portions. That's all. Alright. What can you tell me about your Jarl? Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man. Perhaps a bit overcautious. But these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid he can't hmm. last, though. Which side of the war does he favor, then? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no hmm. traitor. So you support the Empire as well? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's ah. been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather mm. friends. All right. Yes. Well, I think that's all I need to know. Maybe we can sell something. Take a look. Yes. We are going to need all the coin that we can. But I'll save some for disenchanting. There's sure to be an enchanter at the, the capital. Good day. Come, Mr. Gore. Can I help you? Ah. Slowpoke has finally arrived. <laughs> anyway. Uncle Halvor, hello. Halvor? Thank you, Thomas. Hmm. Red told me about Helkins. Come on inside. Sigrid will get you something to eat. You can tell us. Well. It seems that our road has been laid out for us, my friend. Jokir has been looking for a direction to go since we came back from Bleak Falls Barrow. It appears that we have been given our direction. We have to go to White Run then. To the capital of this hold. We shall do this job for the blacksmith and warn the Jarl about this dragon. And then we'll see. We'll see what happens next.